Hey everyone, it's Dorothy from crazyforcrust.com and welcome to my kitchen. Have you ever wanted to make a turkey, but not an entire turkey? Like maybe you're craving Thanksgiving in July, or maybe you need a little bit of extra turkey at Thanksgiving for a few extra people that are coming over? Well, I have the recipe for you. This is the perfect recipe for turkey breast cooked in a slow cooker. Whenever I host Thanksgiving or Christmas, I love having leftovers. That's the best part, having turkey sandwiches or making turkey soup. The problem is everyone likes the turkey, the white meat, the breast meat, right? So I always love to make an extra turkey breast when I have a large group of people over, so I'm guaranteed leftovers. Now, I don't wanna do it in my oven because my oven's full of the turkey and the stuffing and all the sides that I'm cooking, so I like to make my turkey breast in the crock pot. Doing it in the slow cooker is super easy and fast and it makes it so you can have a turkey dinner all year long. All right, for this recipe, I used a three pound boneless turkey breast. You can use bone in or boneless, I just prefer using the boneless ones. The best part of this recipe is the baste. It's the one that I use for my Thanksgiving turkey. It's got soy sauce and white wine or sherry, brown sugar and pepper. You don't even have to salt the turkey because of the soy sauce. Now, if you don't use wine or sherry and you don't want to use alcohol, you can just use chicken stock. But it's totally worth it to add a little bit of wine or sherry into that baste. It adds an amazing flavor. To make a slow cooker turkey breast, just add the baste to your crock pot and then add the turkey breast on top. Cover it and set it for four hours on low. Now, depending on your crock pot, it's gonna cook differently because every crock pot cooks differently. Some are older, some are newer, some are hotter than others. It's gonna take somewhere between two to four hours to cook this turkey breast. After a couple of hours, I always like to check it with a meat thermometer because you don't want turkey to get dry. And in a crock pot, chicken and turkey and those sorts of things, especially if they're boneless, tend to get dry. So there's no harm in just taking an instant read thermometer and checking the temperature. Once it's to 165, it's done. So again, it's not gonna take a full four hours, but you need to watch it the last hour or so of cooking. After an hour of cooking, I also like to flip it over in the crock pot. That way that base gets all over the top and the bottom. Now, a lot of times those boneless turkeys come with a gravy packet. So just use that gravy packet and instead of adding chicken stock to it, use the drippings from the bottom of the crock pot. One of my secret tips about making anything really in a crock pot, but especially using a turkey or any sort of meat, is I love to use those crock pot liners. The Reynolds makes them and you put them in your crock pot and it makes it super easy to clean up. And at the end, when you're making your gravy, it's really, really easy to get those drippings out. You just lift out that bag and then you snip a hole in the bottom and you have all those drippings for gravy. That's it. That's how you make a slow cooker turkey breast. It's the perfectly moist turkey recipe if you want a little extra at a holiday or just a turkey any night of the year. Thanks for watching today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to eat something sweet.